and today, today's a bit of a different video. Um, we've gone for a walk down to Hope Snows in Torquay, uh, which is quite famous for dendritic gold. Um, it's one of the only places in the UK you can find it. It's quite a rare specimen type of gold. I'll upload some photos to show you what types. Um, so yeah, we'll go down, take a few photos, a couple of videos, and show you a bit more when we get down there. But what a beautiful day for it. Sun's out. Bedrock's on show. Unfortunately, this site is a triple SI, um, so we're not allowed to do anything here. It's all completely protected. Um, yeah, I'll show you some more in a bit. You can find here is a very popular mackerel fishing spot. Over there at the distance you've got Brixham, Paynton, Torquay. And over that side you can see the distance expert. The walk down to the main Hope's Nose itself. There's two ways you can get down. There's this way. Um, there's also another way. Which we'll walk back up on the way back out and you'll see all the exposed bedrock and you'll see the fault line in the bedrock itself. So on the way down you'll come across this which I think is an old sewer outlet or a water outlet um, I'll go for a closer show in a second just hope I don't drop my phone it's a big round style on all the quartz and the minerals they used to build this thing in the path you can see lots of quartz stringers all types of different types of bedrock um, this was an old quarry many many years ago as you can see and how much of it they dug out um, I'm assuming underneath these bouncy soft grass possibly be slag heaps I mean it's all loose it's all full of holes like so um, as I say this is a very popular fishing spot what a beautiful spot it is we'll go down there in a little while have a look around the quarry show you some of the quartz stringers out of the wall some of the pink calcite um, the main spot I want to show is on the other side you can see where they came down and actually bought chainsaws to cut out the quartz veins from the bedrock and used specific acids to dissolve the bedrock to expose the dendritic gold. So we've just climbed down the face as you can see Danny's still trying to climb down so you can see all the quartz stringers and the rocks one thing about this beauty hot spot is that it is absolutely getting destroyed by all the rubbish that people leave behind. Um, it's a real popular fishing spot and it just really pisses me off not to take the rubbish home with you. It's a simple task, no need for it. So you can see all the different types of minerals on the ground. A lovely quartz stringers over the walls. Oh, you can see it. Crystallization. Calcite. All the way up that big calcite stringer. And just rubbish. Shit loads of rubbish just dumped. Really bugs me. You can see it's all blastites, so there's loads of different types of minerals. Floor blast open. Sort of place I'd love to come down with the uh, gold monster and give it a swing around, but as I say, it's triple SI, I'm not allowed to. So, you know, rules made here to protect the land. You can see over on the walls in a minute, which I'm walking over to, you'll see the drill holes where they bored into the walls. It's got either explosives or fracking processes. See, this is all just tailings, it's big tailings piles. 
mean, yeah. Mineralization sitting in there. The old quarry. Look over on the wall here. You can see drill holes. And the one at the top there. Got them all amongst the walls. And there's just bundles and bundles of tailings. Back in the days, they would have mined it. I'm not entirely sure what sort of minerals and that they got from here. If you know, let us know. I know it's dead dress of gold. Um, I'm not entirely sure what else it was uh, mined for. What I really like about this bit here is that you've got, as you can see, holes what? where they've people have drilled out for the mineralization as you can see in those quartz stringers so I'm assuming it used to be holes for the gold um, this is a lovely little beautiful secluded spot just off Hope's Nose itself but down on this beach here you can find some beautiful seashells hang on so I'm assuming all this gravel would have been dumped here not entirely sure it looks a bit different to the rest of it. It's full of quartz, all rounded. It all looks like it's been washed and tumbled and dumped. But in all the rock faces you'll see there is just big chunks of quartz stringers everywhere. Well, another wonderful shell. So far to go with a little stack. Don't know why, you always get the big shells washed up on there. Always big shells. Other interesting rocks up down the beach here. If anybody can tell me what type of rock this is, they're quite interesting. It's like they're infused. So we're back over from the little spot. There's a little beach over there, which is quite nice. Um, that's where the quarry was. You can see all the cliff faces. The rubbish pile again. There's a few areas that wasn't really touched for no reasons, I don't know why. It's quite very bizarre that you've got the cliff face here. There's a flat, and then there's another mound. But amongst all these cracks in the walls and that, you'll see all different types of mineralization, quartz, calcite, magnetite, God knows. Yet again, all mounds of rubble from the blasts. Fire pits. But I'll take you around to the interesting part. Lots of fishmen. Now talk about quartz stringers. Quartz everywhere. Pounds and piles. And stringers. A pair of underwear. Troublesome too. Okay.
press up on the walls. Stringers. Absolutely, yeah, remember. If anyone can tell me what the pink rock is, you got sandstone, pink rock, different types of minerals, shiny stuff. So this is where they came down, I um, can't remember what the channel was, but basically you can see chainsaw marks where they've dug out the vein, um, you know, but they've come along with a chainsaw and cut out all the hard rock for the dendritic gold, you can see the vein that they chased all the way along, you'll keep seeing holes, all the way along. So this is where they found the dendritic gold. You see the rock face behind us. There is a massive fault line just around the corner. You can see all the layers. Yeah, it's quite an interesting site. Walking back up, all that bedrock. You see the fault lines in it. Give that a little scratch around. You can see by the way the bedrock's all facing upwards. It's a hell of a steep walk though. That could be slippery. We left early because of uh, little legs, she was getting a bit tired, so I just thought I'd attach a couple of photos of the type of golden specimens you can find in this particular area. Um, yeah, it's quite an interesting area. I'd recommend Wild Worth coming down and having a look one day.